people have been getting like symptoms uh, or like sick from taking the vaccine. I just have my arm falling off. It's like <laughs> I hurt so much. <laughs> not as much as yesterday, but about the same because I'm not on painkillers right now, which maybe I should. I also like how the local government is trying to incentivize young people to get vaccinated by making it required to have vaccines to go to a nightclub. <laughs> if if the ability to go to a club is a reason why you're taking a vaccine, then... I don't know, you should rethink your life. <laughs> and the lives of people around you. But the other funny thing is, the people not taking the vaccines are not people of the age of going to clubs. The people who are most rejecting them are people who are in their 30s to 40s. I don't think that's the kind of audience you expect to see at, uh, like, bars and shit. Well, maybe at bars, but not at nightclubs. The kind where you only go to get drunk and, and do other stuff. I think when you're 30, you're kind of too old for that now. I'm already too old for it. <laughs> But they actually conducted, like, uh, statistics on the people who... who, uh, declined vaccines and... kind of habits that they have and stuff in their ages. There's a very... There's a very strong correlation between using social networks and not wanting to get vaccinated. Makes you wonder. Huh. Almost like... people who... Either people who use social media are a certain kind of demographic, or there's a lot of misinformation being spread around there. Huh.